Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Jason Osterman. I'm the Specifications Manager with Altman Lighting, uh, and I'm joined today by Rianne Lindsay. Uh, Rianne is a lighting designer who recently graduated from Point Park University and is a winner of Altman's Why I Light competition. Why I Light was a campaign uh, in which emerging lighting designers submitted their best work and the backstory on how they created that work. So hello, Rianne. Hello. Um, your entry was inspiring to us because it discussed how your design didn't quite turn out the way that you'd intended, and you told the story of how um, you worked hard to change it um, with the help of your colleagues. Uh, and I think we can all agree that um, you know working with your colleagues towards a shared artistic vision uh, when you're on the clock is what makes great art and a great lighting designer. Um, so we're really glad to be able to ask you a few questions about your work so far. Awesome. I'm happy to do it. Um, so. Can you just tell me why you sort of chose lighting as a profession in the first place? Yeah, um, like a lot of people, I started um, in the industry in like high school age. Um, I kind of started just joining um, our stage crew, which was a club at my high school, um, out of just pure curiosity and um, just thought it'd be something fun to do after school. And I didn't really have any interest in theater beyond that beforehand. Um, but uh, yeah, so I joined the club and they were kind of assigning everyone like where to go for the first show, which was just like a talent show. And um, I actually originally wanted to do like kind of like backstage. I wanted to be back there and be part of that kind of energy. Um, but it was starting to like fill up positions back there. And um, one of the older students had asked if I would instead switch over to lighting and I could be a spotlight operator. And I said, sure, because I didn't know what any of that was. And before I know it, I was uh, doing that and I haven't been able to escape it since. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of know the feeling. Um, yeah, it's, it's addictive and it's a great, great industry to be in for sure. Um, so if people had seen uh, the competition that we ran, um, they've seen uh, what you think is your best work so far, um, or at least at university. Um, what was your, what was your sort of, first professional gig design uh, and it doesn't really necessarily mean being 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 paid or anything like that but maybe something that you consider to be professional um i ironically consider that my most professional gig um because i worked with um all professional designers i was the only student designer on that production um but beyond point park um i did do an internship at new london barn playhouse um in the summer of 2019 just before i did the show um, and I did a couple productions there where I was the designer while also being um, one of the stage electricians for the entire summer. Um, so it was like my first chance to really do a show beyond uh, the walls of the school. And it was really nice to work with a new group of people. Great. Okay. Um, so you're based in uh, Pennsylvania, is that right? In Pittsburgh, yeah. Yep. Okay. So looking at sort of stock and regional theaters around New England and the East Coast, I guess, for now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. for sure. Great. Okay. Um, what is the best advice that you've had from your colleagues so far? Um, so I worked on a production of Cabaret in, I believe it was 2018. And the designer I was working on was a visiting artist. And she pulled me aside one day and she just said, I need to be more confident of myself and of my work. Um, it's definitely something I'm not uh, amazing at yet, but I'm, you know, still trying to work on it. Um, I do know I deserve to be in the room now. That is something that I didn't quite <laughs> have under my belt in 2018, which is why she pulled me aside. And I didn't think there was, you know, um, anything I was doing in particular that, like, seemed like I was unsure of myself or unsure of my work, but she, she saw it. She pulled me aside and she said, you need to be um, more sure of yourself. You need to know that you can speak up when you're in the room. I think that's pretty great advice, actually. You know, if you, if you know something is right, um, it can be daunting. I know, you know, certainly in the past where, um, you know, there's trade show events or, you know, conferences and there's so much talent in the room that you don't really feel like your voice means much, but, um, often it does. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in lieu of sort of full-time LD work, have you learned or have you focused on a new skill uh, this year? Um, I kind of got into um, 
I'm sure a lot of people have watching the Queen's Gambit on uh, Netflix. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to teach myself chess more. Um, before I was more casual about it, you know, I knew how all the pieces moved, but I'm really actually like um, trying to learn more about it just because I want to keep my, my brain active and such since I'm not really in school anymore and I'm not actively working in my profession. Got it. I uh, personally, I uh, ended up learning almost, I think half of the Adobe Creative Suite applications as um, we, uh, uh, you know, instead of doing more key account things, uh, it kind of uh, mutated into marketing activities. So a lot more, you know, emails and things like that. So it's Mm -hmm. been a lot of computer time instead of traveling time. So. (laughs) Um, So once these restrictions are lifted, what would be your dream production to be working on? Um, so it's not very romantic, but uh, my first musical I ever worked on, like after that talent show I had mentioned earlier, um, was a production of The Drowsy Chaperone. It's still one of my favorite shows. Um, and I would like to come full circle one day and just design it since I was an operator on a spotlight operator um, and just kind of complete that cycle almost um, at how I started. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Um, if you had a magic wand to create a lighting fixture, what would it be? Um, I've said this to my colleagues at school. I want an LED fixture that is lightweight, um, like much, much lighter than it is now. Um, because I would lament every time I pick one off to hang it, like beyond like an arm's reach, you know, when I'm like, man, this really sucks. And I just want an LED fixture that's lightweight. <laughs> Fair enough. I, and my back agrees with you. Um, how can manufacturers best support new designers um i mean to be really blunt money but i think (laughs) it's about um supporting groups of designers it's not just about singling them out and handing them something they need um i think like mentorships would be um really ideal because i think there's a lot of uh there's a lot of students out there who think at the moment you become uh, a production student, you're streamlined to become a designer or a stage manager, but there's so many other jobs out there. And if they were also um, given that kind of boost with connections and travel, if they want to go elsewhere to get outside of their college town or their hometown. That's great, yeah. I think we can definitely see a um, increased amount of specialization um, as things become more technically involved. Um, and being able to get experience of all of the different um, uh, basically requirements now of how productions need to be put together um, is a great, great thing to be able to do. Um, And so finally, if you could meet any one person alive or not, who would it be? Um, Unfortunately, the uh, status of how I would be able to meet him changed recently, but Alex Trebek. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I love the show and uh, it's just like one of those nerdy things that I would love to admit to wanting to meet him. Yeah, no, I, that, I, that would be a great one as well for me too, I have to admit. Yeah, um, well, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate your time and you know, hopefully you have a great holiday season and- Thank you so a, much, you too. Excellent next year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> great, take care. Thank you, you too, bye.